I literally said I wasn't ever going to do this video again. Why am I doing it again? Hey besties. I'm gonna do the 24 hour readathon challenge again. Was I miserable the first time I did it? Yes. Did I successfully do it the first time so I never had to do it again? Yes. So why am I here right now doing it again? Beats me. I don't know how to make decisions. I'm going to do popular books, um, mainly like book talk books and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and continue reading Icebreaker on my Kindle. I only took like a 10 minute nap because my uncle walked in and interrupted it so I couldn't fall back asleep afterwards. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start with Icebreaker. So we started at 9 p.m. February 1st. We're not gonna stop until 9 p.m. February 2nd. Let's get into it. Why am I doing this to myself? Basically, um, I've been reading Icebreaker technically since like mid-January. Um, I just kept picking up other books instead and never going back to Icebreaker, which is why it's taken me so long to get back into it. Hello, my hair. <laughs> the writing style is very like immature. It's fine. It's like not that big a deal to me. But it's very interesting to me so far that like the ship is supposed to be Anastasia and Nate because right now it sounds like Ryan is the dream. <laughs> and they're like friends with benefits and stuff and things like that. So it's like I would totally root for them if this book was about them, but it's apparently about Anastasia and Nate. So I'm like confused. <laughs> I want a snack haul real quick. I got my monster, of course, and then I have these sweet tart ropes. Um, I like the rainbow flavor the most. These are one of my fave candies. These, because these are also one of my faves. So, that's the snack haul for this little marathon. Marathon. Readathon. <laughs> it's almost midnight, as you can see. Oh, um... I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but I do have makeup on now. I was watching one of uh, Destiny Sidewell's 24-hour um, videos, and in them, I think me and Destiny are the same person because <laughs> she talks about how she, like, she thinks caffeine doesn't do anything for her. That's me. Like, I'm ready to go to bed, and I drink a whole monster. It's like one of the booktubers whose, like, bookish opinions like most aligned with mine too most of the time and then in this 24-hour readathon that i was watching of hers she put on makeup and said it's because when she's wearing makeup her body literally won't even let her take a nap because she's wearing makeup and it's just not gonna happen and guess what same thing for me <laughs> and i thought that was such a smart idea and such a smart strategy to like make sure you stay up basically me and destiny are the same person so i would love to be destiny's friend destiny if you ever watch this i want to be your friend i really love henry and there was literally a sentence where it was like women love henry and i'm like yeah they do they should because henry is the best i love henry so much <laughs> i think when it gets closer to like 2 a.m i'm gonna try to drink straight up espresso because i feel like espresso like there's no way that espresso is not gonna affect me right like, if it doesn't i think something is seriously wrong with me <laughs> so who's who's the other book's gonna be about if it's about henry i'll read it because right now henry's all i care about and i think robbie or somebody i don't even know the people's names <laughs> i think i don't know whatever i'm liking i'm liking the drama though because i was about to think that this whole book was just a bunch of smut and that's why book talk likes it so much <laughs> which wouldn't be surprising but so far before all this drama started happening it was all just like smut for the most part so i'm glad to have some plot <laughs> i do like anastasia and nate I still ship it, but I don't know. It's just like, I don't know how to explain it. I just like don't care about them. I, they're, they're giving side characters to me so far. I'm only 50% in, so maybe that'll change. For all my Desi viewers, these are the best. It's almost been four hours and that's busy. I 
really loved JJ and now finding out that he's Indian. <laughs> love of my life. And now I hope that one of the books in the series is gonna be about JJ. <laughs> it's almost 1.30, but I think it's time for that espresso. So I realized I hadn't drinking any water today. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> so while I was waiting for my espresso, I chugged a whole bottle of this. And now I don't want this. <laughs> my tummy hurts now. <laughs> Not Anastasia reading the kissing quotient. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. I'm still annoyed with how long this is. I think it could have been, like, at least 100 pages shorter, if even more. <laughs> so that's not fun. <laughs> that espresso helped for, like, 20 minutes. So that's great. Why do I look so great, though, is the question. <laughs> Whoever falls in love with me... You're lucky because like, look at me right now. I'm wearing a bonnet and a hoodie and I'm looking like this. Ciao. <laughs> also, we're about 15 minutes away from it being seven hours. And I'm still not done with this damn book. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it, but I can't wait for the next one if it's about Henry or JJ. Those are the people I care about. I don't care about anybody else. I finally finished Icebreaker. Bro, oh, that felt like an eternity. It's almost 5 a.m. How can a romance book take almost eight hours of my life to finish? The rating is, I think I'll save my ratings till the end so I can like really marinate my thoughts on them. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and read a physical book now. And we're finally gonna start Archer's Boys. I've been reading for 10 hours total. Isn't that stupid? I'm awake. I didn't go to sleep. And it's 7 a.m. That feels fake. Grandma's up now. And if I go downstairs, she'll be like, I hi. Boch Valley Uti. Like that. That's what she'd do. <laughs> he is so cute. I can't do this. Whoa. We're halfway there. Maybe wearing makeup really does work. At least for me. Chapter 21 was. Archer is that man. I do have to say, there was a cringe moment. It was just a description that made me be like, like sleeps in his bed at some point, right? And she sell, she says the sheets smell like him, right? And the way she describes what he, this man smells like was just a little funny to me. She said he smells soap and clean mail. What? <laughs> just didn't know what scent archer should be so she was like he he freaking showers guys that's all you need to know and it's like okay <laughs> just finished archer's voice it is 11 30 i've been reading for 14 hours and 30 minutes i'm pretty sick and tired of having my makeup on so this is gonna be risky but I do think I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna read Magnolia Parks mainly because this book is apparently very toxic, <laughs> and it is basically British Gossip Girl. So I feel like since I am sleepy, a book like this will probably keep me entertained enough to stay awake. So we're gonna read Magnolia Parks. I think it's like literally like. 500 pages so this could be the last book of the video which is kind of sad because 
three books in 24 hours? I feel like that's so slow of me. It's been 16 hours, and I kind of want to give up. <laughs> but it's also 1 p.m. So, like, if I gave up, I would wake up at 9 p.m. And then my sleep schedule would just be crap. I don't even, I can't even process what I'm reading. I'm very entertained. But, like, I'll read something and I won't know what I just read. <laughs> and so I have to, like, reread it. So I feel like this book is going to take me, like, twice the amount of time it usually takes to read. And it's already thick. So I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired of this. This is why I said never again. And I didn't listen to myself. <laughs> as we've, as we've, otherwise. As we's, as, as we've, no. <laughs> Update. I sat up. Going into it and just seeking pure entertainment. Maybe that's why I'm liking it so much. If I had gone in blind and not had known that the relationship is supposed to be toxic or whatever, then I'd probably hate it. I'm having a good time so far. Like, but I'm also not in the thick of it. <laughs> but what's really making me upset that I like it is the fact that I kind of want to like buy a physical one now and that's what's making me upset it's like i don't want to like it so much that i want a physical copy just because i feel like since it's so thick i'll never reread it so i don't know what i'm doing over here wanting a physical copy <laughs> number one number two i don't like the covers i know they're like fun and different and cool because they're different and not the regular uh book covers you usually see but i just I like the basic covers, bro. I don't like it. I don't like this new unique crap, okay? And I know that finish reading the book, like everything on the cover makes sense and like goes in theme with the book or whatever, but I still don't like it. <laughs> Truly, like honest to God, I thought I was going to have a terrible time reading this because of how toxic the like relationship is and how much people have talked about how toxic it is and stuff but i am having the funnest time <laughs> i'm on chapter 14 and so <laughs> just the scene with like bj finding out about um tom tom england wait a damn minute <laughs> Was I just breezing past that this whole time that his name is Tom England and he's British? What the hell? But anyways, <laughs> I'm at the scene where BJ is finding out about Tom um, and Magnolia. <laughs> and it's just funny. His friends are so funny. Like, I'm really enjoying this universe right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, we're at 19 hours and 18 minutes and i got to the 50 percent mark why is each book that i'm reading taking like eight hours to read like that's just rude i can't believe i did that i cannot believe i did that for this video how toxic they are together isn't what makes my blood boil it's the fact that they like keep like hanging out and like being friends even though all this stuff keeps happening. And I'm just like, Magnolia, girl, stand up! Oh, you fell in love with him when you were like 14. So like, obviously the codependency is astronomical. God damn, you're like 22 now. Get therapy, you're rich. You can afford it. <laughs> like what? Seek therapy and maybe like have a summer apart or something. And uh, a lot of your issues might be solved, you know? Like, you might be able to be together if y'all would just do those two things. So, in conclusion, well, not in conclusion, because I'm only 60% in. Basically, my blood is not boiling. I'm just annoyed. Listen, I know he's a gang lord or whatever, but Jillian. The amount of love triangles in this one friend group 
is ridiculous. <laughs> I literally guessed it right before it was revealed. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Nolia needs some new friends and a new family. <laughs> Because why does her family like him so much? Henry. Henry's the only real one. Always trust a Henry. We loved Henry in Icebreaker. And we love Henry in this one. Henry's are the way to go, okay? Don't ever. Don't ever fall for a BJ. Don't ever do that, okay? You kids at home, don't do it. Okay? Don't. Don't do it. We finished, besties. So I think I'm going to start um, better than the movies. Obviously not going to finish it by the end of this uh, video. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank the Lord. Those last 10 minutes were the biggest struggle of my life. I was starting to see double for sure, for sure. <laughs> so we started February 1st and ended February 2nd. Hey friends, it's the next day. I actually got ready. This is probably the most presentable I've ever looked on my channel, so you're welcome. So first we read Icebreaker, and I think I would give it three stars. I get the hype because there's like a lot of smut in it, like pretty early on, but other than that, I don't really see why it got as popular as it did. Pretty cute. It definitely reminded me a lot of The Deal, which I haven't read in like a year, but um, so I can't really tell you which one I prefer. Um, but I do think The Deal was shorter, which automatically makes me like The Deal more <laughs> because I feel like the icebreaker didn't have to be as long as it was. Like, I'm not, I'm. It might sound like I'm being a little bit dramatic with the length. It was a little over 400 pages on my Kindle. I think it was like 425. Like a lot of the things that happened in the beginning didn't necessarily need to happen. I only really started liking it halfway in when Nate starts helping Anastasia with her practice and stuff. That's when I really started to like it. So I wish um, in the beginning that kind of like got to it a little bit more but i give it three um out of five stars i definitely am going to read the whole series depending on who it's about i really want to read more about henry and jj i don't know if ryan will have a book or not but i do like the things that we saw from ryan so if he has a book i would love to read that one um i don't really know who each book is going to be about though so we'll see and after that i read archer's voice so i definitely get the hype around this one archer's voice i would give it probably a four out of five i really did enjoy the story i loved the plot i loved the characters i love a lot about it but the one thing I didn't like was the pacing of it I feel like they got together a little too early for my taste um I think if the first conflict um that like had to do with Travis and stuff I think if that had happened while they were still friends Archer and Bree I think it would have been a lot better if that conflict is what made them like decided to get together like imagine if like Bree's like just yelling at him because she's so jealous about like what has happened and she just like yells like I like you you dummy or something like that and like Archer like confesses his feelings I feel like that would have been really good for them too like a scenario like that I don't know it would have just done something to me so I think if it had happened that way I would have enjoyed it more and then what happens in chapter 33 literally didn't have to happen there was literally no reason for it to happen because like two chapters later we're fine so it was just like i don't i didn't like that it, that's when it really felt like soap opera like <laughs> to me but yeah in chapter 30 the end of chapter 30 i like what they did with that because i was starting to not root for archer and brie because of the like codependency-ness of it all and I was like Archer you need therapy like genuinely the level of trauma you've had you need therapy in general but you definitely need therapy if you're gonna be like with Brie and you're gonna like be this this much <laughs> so I like what they did in that chapter it made me like root for them a lot more so four out of five stars I really loved it though Archer Hale 
And then lastly, I read Magnolia Parks. So I ended up giving this book four out of five also, which I definitely didn't think would happen. I, I think considering the fact that Magnolia and BJ aren't together in the book is what made me like like it more because if they were actually together and doing all this BS, <laughs> then I think I would have really hated it. And honestly, the writing, like, I kind of want to buy the book even though I feel like I'll never reread it. I <laughs> I want to buy it because of the quotes. Not the entire book of course but the quotes whenever she's describing like Magnolia and BJ's feelings and things like that. It just felt so like a modernized classic. Like you, if you were to cut me I would bleed him. That kind of gave me the same vibes of whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. Like it was giving that to that level to me. And so the quotes of just describing their feelings for each other is what really was like, wow. That's the only thing I really like romanticized, I guess. But also at the same time, I was like, y'all are so codependent. Like get out of here. <laughs> so like, so yeah, if you couldn't tell codependency is a big pet peeve of mine in romance books which is hard to get away from because that's like all there is <laughs> I think it's because I was thinking it would be the same toxicity as like the after books I never read the published version of the after books but I did read them when they were on Wattpad when I was like 14 and even at 14 I was like I'm not rooting for you two like you guys suck <laughs> you know and so I thought it would be like Mag I thought Magnolia and BJ would like be together sometimes in the book and then they'd hurt each other and like break up again and blah 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 but it wasn't like that. I still give it four out of five stars because you guys know I loathe a lengthy book especially if it's romance and that book is 500 pages. Like I was entertained the entire time which is great but also the entertainment was kind of repetitive so you could have gotten rid of some stuff, you know, especially since this is a series. So we're like not even done. <laughs> so I would have enjoyed if it was a little bit shorter, um, which is why I gave it the four out of five stars. Better than the movies. I only read for like an hour, but that's when, that's when like the sense, my senses were shutting down. Like my vision, <laughs> I was starting to see cross-eyed for that last hour. I'm kind of embarrassed that I only read three books, which is kind of stupid to say out loud <laughs> because like I read three books in a day, you know? It's almost every single one of these were 400 plus. Like this one's only 388, but honestly, like look at this font. You can't tell me, I felt like I was reading a 500 page book with that font. So <laughs> each book took me like eight hours to read and I'm just a slow reader. So it's kind of, it was kind of embarrassing a little bit for some reason. And then I told my friend and she was like, wow, I think f reading a book in eight hours is fast. Like, what do you mean? And I was like, oh. <laughs> so I think like just being in the booktube space makes me feel like I should have read each book in like six hours or less because so many people are so much faster than I am. I might be faster than some but like I'm not booktube level fast I guess you could say and so I was a little embarrassed about that but honestly I still like I read three books and it's the beginning of the month you know so it is what it is but yeah so <sighs> enough about my feelings. <laughs> so. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Meet me on the street lights. Meet me where the lights fade out.